Hey guys, so what we're gonna do today is put some lettering in perspective. So we're working on lettering, and I just have a sketch pad. I have a T square because I bought one, but you don't need one, you can just use a ruler. So perspective means that things kind of go into the vanishing point. And you've probably seen those art uh, projects hanging in the hallway. Seventh graders do one point perspective of classrooms. Fifth graders put some shapes in perspective. And eighth graders draw a city in two point perspective, which shows you progression of how much you learn in art class. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna make a line. Um, I'm about three quarters up, two thirds up the paper, and I've just made a straight line. Because I have a T-square, it's straight quick. If you have a ruler, all you're gonna do is measure twice and connect the lines. Because a ruler will make a straight line, but a T-square makes a parallel line, which is a big difference. So parallel to the edges of the paper. Now in the center of the paper, I'm going to put center uh, horizontally, so here's horizontal. I'm gonna find the center of the paper, so this paper is 12 inches, that makes six is the center, so I'm just gonna put a little dot at six, and I'm going to just slide this dot down to the bottom. Now this is gonna be my vanishing point. Now this is gonna be one point perspective, meaning it's got one vanishing point. So all of the lines are gonna converge and go to this. So on the top here, I'm just gonna sketch out some letters just kind of quick. Now this is so that my tutorial is not like 900 minutes long. Dun, 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 dun. Making letters on the video. Do, do, do. So my letters are making the word art. Cool. Now, okay, so I have my letters. I'm gonna just trace them in a Sharpie. Don't even talk to me about the art supplies that are in my house because we recently cleaned out the basement and it's absurd. That's because I've been hoarding them for 100 million years. That's number one. And then when I go to the art teacher's conference, I literally go to the free samples 900 times. So I go to the free samples, I take my free samples, I fill a bag, I drop it in the trunk of my car. You think I'm kidding or not? And I come back and I pretend like, oh, I didn't get your free sample. And then I go get more. I'm obsessed. Okay, so I've just made block letters. Literally, you could do this with any type of letters, but I've done it with block. Ew. Um, if you hear some banging, it's because getting a roof in my house, and that's what happens when it rains in your kitchen. You need a new roof. So today is not fun, but it's really loud and bangy. It's kind of fun to see people walking around your roof. It's pretty crazy. Okay. Ta -da. Okay, so now I have the word art. Now I trace it in a Sharpie only so that you guys can see it. Now we're gonna draw it back to the vanishing point. So this is above the eye line, okay? So you have things in your eye level, above your eye level, and below your eye level. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw these back to the vanishing point. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna connect the corners. So all of these ends are gonna go to this point. So here's what I like to do. You will need a ruler or some sort of straight edge. You can just use anything, really. It doesn't have to be a ruler. So I like to put my pencil in the vanishing point. And if you've had me in seventh and eighth grade, you know my tricks. So you're gonna go from the corner to the vanishing point. Now I'm gonna rotate it like it's a clock and draw it back. And then I'm rotate it like it's a clock. Send it back. Now everything goes back to a single vanishing point. Here. Now the lines are going to kind of change their angles. Ooh, cool. Oops, I missed a mark in the T. I'll show you that in a second. So in the T, we would have this corner. Boom goes the dynamite. We would have this corner and it would stop at this object. It wouldn't go through. Ooh, would we see this corner? Let's see, yeah, we would. Now, this is gonna be like a bit of like checking, you know, to see whether or not you've got it right. If you have any questions, just please send me a email or a comment in the Google Classroom. I'm more than happy to help you hash it out, but you can kind of figure it out, kind of. So what I'm doing is I'm erasing 
at horizontal line where I don't need it. Right? And then erase this guy over here. Erasing is not bad, it's part of the process. Okay, cool. Now I have these letters and they're going back into perspective. Oh my gosh, look, I missed a spot. My A in here. Cool. Nice. All right, now much better. Now the R is right above the point, so we won't need one for the R. Let's see, how about this guy? Do we, would we see a smidge of him? Yeah, we would see a smidge of him. Cool. Okay, so now we have the lines going back into perspective. You can do so many cool things here. You could add some color, add some ombre. I can't even. Anybody else addicted to Sharpies? Is it just me, Mrs. Lynch, and Mr. Platt? I don't know. But we are all. Mr. Lynch, Mrs. Lynch is addicted to Sharpies, does not let her family use them. True story. And Mr. Platt receives them as Christmas gifts. I know. That's why they're like my favorite people. Okay, so you could trace this in Sharpie. Like this. And then from here you have so many options. Like you could add some color and some shading. I didn't grab at the ready um, colored pencils. The colored pencils would be super cool or crayons. Hey Bren, do we have crayons? Can you grab me the crayons from the other way? Alright, my assistant is working on the crayon situation. Let me swap out a color. Maybe the R is blue because I'm going analogous colors. That means they're colors next to each other in the color wheel. So green, blue. Let's do green, blue. Oh, look. Seriously, the art supply situation in my house. Like, if there's an art supply apocalypse, I'm ready. Don't even, but don't tell Mr. Lawler. Do not, seriously, do not. Um, art supplies, you could get them. I don't recommend that you buy anything for this, but if you want art supplies right now because you want them for yourself, like, I'm not encouraging you to buy them. Amazon, Michael's has curbside delivery. Um, Colorist has limited supplies and stuff. If you're desperate, if you don't have crazy things in your house. Like me. Okay, here we go, put this guy in. Cool. Now, to make things look, okay, so like things that go back in the distance, so you get blurry, um, they become less in focus. So I have some Crayola pillar pencils. I don't know, any student who's had me is going, ugh, where's your Prisma colors? You know they're upstairs. I can't. I can't even deal. Okay, so you, you can color dark. You could fade it to light from here. I'm changing colored pencils to change colors and to blend. You can overlap. I can even pull this down to like a yellow, which would be cool. Nice. Overlapping blends them, see that? So you could continue to color um, your one point perspective. So you have one, this is your vanishing point, you have one vanishing point, and all of the items recede to that one vanishing point. So we started out with a horizontal line, just made some regular block letters. You can literally make any kind of letters, it doesn't have to be block. And then we connected the corners back to the vanishing point, so each edge. And then it's kind of a thing, like if you're not sure whether you should connect a corner to the vanishing point, kind of take a look at it, maybe ask somebody at home, like, hey guys, what do you think? What do you think about this? Do you think I should connect this? Or you could just um, send me a message and I'm more than happy to help you. Ooh, fancy, look at this guy, that's cool. Okay, so now you have a lovely arm, right? Oh, good, they're like right in the kitchen basically hammering right now, hello. Um, then to spruce, like, spruce up your artwork. If you just go like super dark by like a hard application there, you have this like such a cool, beautiful ombre. What, what? Ombre. Yeah, so nice. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna stop the video so it's not nine years, but literally I'm just gonna keep coloring because this is so much fun and so relaxing. 
you don't have to add color, but I'm sure in your somewhere in your house there's something. Crayons, colored pencils, markers, doesn't matter what it is. Okay. All right, cool. So we put some letters in one point perspective. You could put the letters across the bottom, the vanishing point up high, or you could put the letters in a row, put the vanishing point like off to the side. You could put it anywhere. All right, enjoy, bye.